Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and this is our thousandth video. So we now have thousand videos on our channel, which is uh, quite bizarre. Never thought we would have so many videos on our channel. So if you are bored or something, you can always watch a video on our channel. Um, but yeah, they aren't all as good. I have to say that there are some shitty videos on our channel, but yeah, the most the ones that have been like uh, has been like uploaded for the last two years are pretty decent. Um, but anyway, um, because of that, I thought it would maybe be a fun idea to uh, review my favorite LED fixture, um, which is the Philips Iridium Gen Four. And before we are going to start the review, please know that this is just uh, my opinion; it doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's start reviewing it. So, in my opinion, Philips uh, has been making some very shitty LED fixtures recently. Um, I don't like the Philips DG Street at all. I think uh, the design is, it just looks like a fly sweater, um, which I'm not the only one who thinks that, luckily. And then we have the Philips uh, Luma second generation, which um, it's better than the DG Street, but I have to say that I think it just looks like a cheaper version of the uh, original Luma and also the that was also the same by the normal Luma version but why is the biggest version so extremely big it's just it's heavy it's big it's it's just terrible so when this fixture released a year ago I was uh, honestly very surprised um, and I was quite late, um, I think it might have been released like in the start of 2020, but I just discovered it in like the fall, start of the fall. Because there was one fixture that has been placed uh, on my uh, route to school, and I was wondering what it is, but it turned out that it was in Origin Gen 4. And I have to say, yeah, it looks really good. Um, so what I like the most about this fixture is the design. Um, which, um, what someone someone also said is in the comments, it looks like a bit of a combination of all the Iridium generations. Also, it's not as flat as an LED fixture is. It looks like it it could have come from like 2010. That there is a possibility that it could still be with uh, high pressure sodium or something. Um, it's not flat. It's not ugly. So the basics of the uh, Iridium design are still here. Um, metal, gray uh, pl plate here, and the canopy is white. It's this time from Iron 2, um, not from whatever material they used before. Um, so, it's really true that they like used all kinds of uh, things from all the Iridium generations. So what we have, this part here looks like uh, it's an Iridium Gen 3, um, but you can't really take it out. There are still uh, a lot of options on how to mount it on the pole. And you can also make it post up as well as just normal. Also something nice that uh, Philips always does with the new fixtures is use like a screw that's uh, have, uh, use a screw that you can uh, use from two sides instead of like having to take it out and put it back in whenever you want to mount it on a different uh, pole so yeah that's pretty nice that they still kept that um, so um, the LEDs um, it looks a bit weird, I have to say, um, with the like three LED panels, all uh, 20 LEDs, so 60 LEDs in total. I think that it yeah, could have been made better, um, but that's probably because it's just the only one that has like a weird number of LEDs. If it was like 40 LEDs, you could have put a uh, LED plate here and one here. That would have looked better. But yeah, I guess that's just the weird amount of LEDs that this thing has. The uh, small version of this fixture has like only one LED plate and that already makes it look way better. 
even though this doesn't even look as bad, I think. So of course, um, with the new LED fixtures, this fixture has a city touch on it, which is on the top, like most uh, Philips fixtures have. And also from the top, could you guess that this, if you haven't seen like the, uh, the back of this fixture, could you guess that this is an LED fixture? I don't think so. It looks really amazing. Also what stayed true to the Iridium, uh, sadly, what all Iridium generations have, um, except for the third one, which you couldn't even open is, it's still pretty difficult to open it. But yeah, it just opens as every uh, Iridium fixture does. Which is pretty nice since uh, it's great that like they have a good opening system for, even for an LED fixture. Also something I love that Philip did is that they used a uh, box for the driver in here, um, which you can just pull out here. And they used the same box as in the Philips Luma, so they really kept... They really took all the great things about the Philips Luma and also put it in this fixture. Um, here we have a sticker with the information on it. And then you um, can open it, watch it again like this. Then you have the uh, driver inside, which is a pretty normal standard Philips driver. Something I also love is that they still have this. And they uh, took that from the uh, Philips Luma 2, I'm guessing. And from the Philips Mitra has that system too. Which is a pretty uh, nice thing because that makes uh, making a cable on this fixture very easy. Also, it's pretty cool how they. Uh, Put some PVC uh, around the cable that's going to the city touch also makes it uh, look better. So yeah, they really did their best on uh, the inside of the fixture, which makes me happy. Which shows that Philips is still capable of uh, making the original systems that they uh, used to used to have. They're still capable of that, luckily, but they don't do it anymore. I don't know. Well, uh, closing also stayed mostly the same. Um, that's again, true to the Iridium, really difficult. <laughs> Don't want my finger fingers to get hurt. <laughs> but yeah, let's look at um, the most important part, which is the uh, light of the fixture. So let's turn it on. <laughs> this thing is so, so fucking bright. So yeah, here we have my room and let's turn the lights off. You don't really see a difference. It just lights up like everything. From the vinyl air to the Amiibos to record player. It just lights up the whole fucking room. <laughs> But it isn't bad, it's like a really, really nice light. Um, I had this fixture outside for a few weeks in the garden. Um, and yeah, I, th I turn it on quite a lot. It was like really nice and not that it's light goes like everywhere outside. Just, just kept it in a pretty straight line. It just, yeah, it's a very, very nice light also the, uh, light color of the LEDs, which is warm white, really helps. And also, uh, pretty funny, this one doesn't have a direct startup, but it... Yeah, I wouldn't say it's slowly, but it takes like one second to f uh, fully warm up, but the camera has some trouble with showing that. I can try again. But yeah, the camera has some trouble uh, showing that. Also something amazing about this fixture that I forgot to mention that this thing actually does have a deep bolt too. I don't have that version but I've seen it on a picture. 
So this fixture even has a deep ball version, just like the original Iridium used to have. Well, I turn it off again since it's basically like blinding me, but um, overall, I would say that this is an amazing fixture with very little flaws, um, almost no flaws, and uh, yeah, it's amazing. I'd give it a 9 plus, not a 10, it's not completely perfect, but it's close. Closest that LED comes to being perfect, I guess. So let me know what you think about this fixture, and um, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you in the next video.